Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any Stampin' Up! products to make this card, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description box below. When you purchase Stampin' Up! products through me, you can earn free products. Check out my current customer appreciation products on my blog and the link is below as well. Today I'd like to share with you my first alternative card using the April 2021 Paper Pumpkin Kit called So Cool. And if you're interested in watching me unbox this kit so that you can see everything that comes inside, you can click on the playlist up here in the top right corner. And in that video, I also share with you how to create the original cards, which are these really cute, fun, shaped cards and they are very quick and easy to make. So what I like to do is take the parts of that kit and add a couple of things from my own craft room and create alternative cards. This card is a fun fold card and it has a belly band to hold it together and it's a Z fold card and it's a really fun one. It does open backwards just because of the way that the original cards are, but still is a perfect card to send out to someone to wish them a happy birthday. So let's go ahead and get started making this card now. So the first thing we're going to do is prep all of our pieces for the card. And I wanted to start by doing the scoring on my card base. So this card base is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches, and we're going to score it two times. The first score is going to be at one and a half inches and then just flip it over and score again at four and a quarter. And this is going to give us that Z fold to our card base. The next thing we're going to score is the belly band and this has been cut to one and a half inches by 11 inches and we're going to start the scoring at three inches. And then we're going to count four and a quarter inches down. One, two, three, four and a quarter. And then we need to add one eighth just for thickness to that as well. So we're going to score again at seven and three eighths inches. Next, we're going to do some cutting. So you're going to get one of the envelopes from the kit and we're going to trim it down so that we can open it up and use the pattern on the inside. So just begin by removing a small piece from the bottom and the side, and then you can open that up and trim right along that side. And then again on the other side right here. Now we're going to need two pieces of this pattern paper. The first one we want to cut is at one and three eighths. And then we're going to cut this again at, let's see how wide it is really quick. So it's five inches, so we can just cut that right in half at two and a half inches. So we have two pieces that are two and a half inches by one and three eighths. So we're going to trim that envelope again and we're going to do a second one at one and three eighths inches. And this is going to be the front of our belly band. For this card, you're going to need two popsicle stick card bases. We're going to use one and then we're going to use the white part of the second. So take your second one and you're just going to trim it right down the middle at the score line. So line it up with your cut line and then cut. And then you're gonna save this for a future card. Our next step is to add the second white popsicle to the other two pieces. So when we create this Z fold, it's gonna fold just like the normal card would like this. And then we need to fold this second one onto the back like that. So we're going to create a hinge 
And we're going to do that with some lightweight copy paper. So you don't want to use cardstock for this because it will create a thickness to that hinge and we need it to be really lightweight. So I just have some copy paper here and it's about an inch in thickness and I'm going to adhere it to my card. I'm going to start by adding some adhesive right to the straight side of this popsicle. So you do not want any adhesive to go on the curved section. So just a little adhesive and I'm using liquid adhesive here because it's it can get really thin so it doesn't the adhesive isn't bulky because I don't want any bulky here and you can see I'm on the back of the card base. Okay, so I'm working on the back. Then I'm going to flip this over and do the same thing. I'm going to add adhesive to the back of the second white piece. And then I'm going to place them so they are lined up with one another and there is a very small gap, like a sixteenth or less of an inch. Just enough for, that pa for the paper to fold in half. So I'm going to use my bone folder to smooth out that glue and to create the fold. So I'm just going to fold that right on top of the other one and then create a nice fold here with my bone folder. And then I'm going to trim this with a pair of paper snips just right along the edge of that cardstock. So you shouldn't see any paper when it is folded. And then the same here. I'm going to trim this down and you can kind of just cut into that space a little bit. We just don't want any of that white paper to show. So I'm going to come around here and just trim that up. Get a little closer to the card on this side. Okay, so now I've got this nice hinge for my card. Next, we're going to do our stamping. I just want to show you the fun stamp set that came in the kit. And we're going to be stamping on the front of the belly band, You're So Cool, Happy Birthday on the front of the card, and then this fun polka dot scatter on the card as well. So you can see how that looks. So let's start with the card stamping. So let's fold our card so we know what is the front and the back. And we've got the score lines. So you're going to fold right in the middle and use a bone folder to make a nice crease. And then you're going to fold that front flap back. So you're going to get something that looks like this. Okay, and we're going to stamp up here in the top right corner and down here in once this is folded in the bottom right corner. So I've got some scratch paper and I have the Stampin' Spot Bermuda Bay which came in the kit and I'm just going to ink up the scattered dot image and stamp it and then we're going to do two stamps before we re-ink. And you're just going to create a fun pattern going back and forth all over this area. And they can overlap. Okay, so something like that. And then you're going to fold this and start in this corner, just like before. So something like that. So for this card, you're going to need two of the banner pieces from the kit. And we're going to stamp one with happy birthday and one with you're so cool. So ink that up and then just hover it over the center and stamp.
Okay, so now we're ready to put our card together. So the first step is to adhere the popsicle to the card base. So you're going to start by adding some strong adhesive to the very back panel that we added. I'm gonna use liquid glue. It gives me just a little bit of movement once I've placed it. So fold up your card and you're gonna place it in the center of your card base. Just kind of eyeball it and then you're gonna fold, open it up and make sure that it's centered on that center flap. So you see how it's kind of in the middle between that one and a half inch flap. That's kind of where we want it to be. So if it's not there, go ahead and shift it a little bit using that liquid adhesive. And when it is where you want it, then go ahead and open it up and use your bone folder to smooth out that liquid adhesive. So on this part of the card, we're going to add our two pieces and we're gonna just slide this first one here underneath. And we want it to slide in so that it sits about one and three fourths inches from the bottom corner. And so that's seven of these squares if you're using grid paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so you're just gonna slide it in right there. So once you have it where you want it, go ahead and add a little adhesive by lifting it up and just placing some adhesive there. You could use liquid glue or even um, glue dots or any type of glue there would work. And then smooth that out with your bone folder and then we're gonna trim that. And then over here on this side, we're going to do the same thing and add our second piece at one and three fourths from this bottom corner as well. So we'll just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we can add adhesive here and then place that onto our card. Okay, so you can see how that banner piece now runs all the way across. And we don't need any here because we don't see it. We can trim this part off with our paper snips. Just follow the line of the card, just like that. So now we're going to adhere the front popsicle to the flap. So just place some adhesive here in the center and you can do some going straight down there for the, step, the stick if you want. So just place that there and use some bone folder again to just smooth that glue out. And you wanna make sure you do this when the card is folded so that you know the card folds nicely. And then when it opens, it won't fold, be open totally flat, but um, it will fold flat if you glue it when it's folded. So now we can decorate the front of this card. And I do have some stickers that came in the kit and I wanted to use this cute kiwi. And I'm gonna place that up here in the left side of the popsicle. I'm gonna have it come off the popsicle slightly and I'm going to keep this from adhering to anything else by adding a little bit of powder from my embossing buddy. Now, if you don't have an embossing buddy, you could use baby powder would also work here. And what that does is it just applies a thin film to your the back of that sticky part so it won't stick to anything else. All right, so now that that kiwi's on there, I can add my birthday greeting and I just wanna place that in the middle with a little adhesive. So somewhere inside this strip is where I'm looking to add that happy birthday. Okay, so our card is almost all done. We just now need to go to the belly band. So for our belly band, we're gonna fold along those score lines and make a nice crease. And then we want to adhere this on our card. 
So bring your card back in and wrap the belly band around your card. And it should fit well because we added that extra one eighth of an inch. And then you're just gonna adhere this, putting a little adhesive on the ends and bringing them together. Make sure it's, it's not super tight is what we want. We want it to be snug, but not tight. So if you need to give it a little more room, you can do that. Okay, so then you can slide that off your card. And we're now going to add our stripe piece. I'm just gonna do a little adhesive right in the middle. And you're just gonna center that on that belly band. There should be just a nice thin border along the top. And then you're gonna take each end and wrap it to the back. So just a little adhesive and Fold that over and adhere it. And then once that's in place, use your bone folder to smooth that out. So now we're going to add our You Are So Cool. And I want to do this by placing some adhesive on the back of my greeting and I have 10 inches of the twine that came in the kit. I'm gonna find the center and place that at an angle on the back of the greeting and then just create some a faux bow by making loops on each side. Just like that. And then that's going to be adhered to our silver piece with some dimensionals. And they did give us dimensionals in the kit, which is super nice. I'm gonna make sure that one goes over the twine so that it holds it in place. And then I'm going to add it to my silver rectangle that also was in the kit. So I'm just gonna place it right in the center and then add a little adhesive on the back here and then place that on this, in the center on the belly band. So my belly band is all done and now I can just finish decorating my card. So I love using these basic rhinestone jewels on cards and so I'm going to go ahead and add some to my card just to give it a little more bling. Couple up here in the corner and then maybe three down here at the bottom. And then on the inside of my card, I did add some more of the stickers that came in the kit. This cute sun, I decided to cut in half and just use half of it and place it in the bottom right corner here. So I'm just kind of hiding that cut line behind my popsicle that I'll place there. And then I love this, these long popsicles. And so I'm gonna go ahead and place this one here in the corner as well. So I noticed that once you lay down the stickers, they are pretty sticky. So make sure you place them where you want them. And if you don't know where you want them and you wanna have the option of moving them around, then go ahead and add some more powder to the back. And then that gives you the option of kind of getting an idea where you want to place it. And then you add your own adhesive once you know. All right, well, this cute card is now all done and ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed watching me create this fun card today. If you'd like to see written instructions and close-up images, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. If you're interested in getting your own paper pumpkin kit, make sure to sign up using the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.